So it's easy to forget that alcohols also burn. All right? uh, you're never responsible for the combustion really of uh, halogen containing uh, compounds, but alcohol is absolutely it's still just carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. So they burn. Don't forget the extra oxygen term that is found in the alcohol when you're balancing. Okay, So let's look at methanol. Nice and simple. So CH3OH plus O2 makes carbon dioxide and water. All right, I know I'm going to need two methanol. That'll give me two carbon dioxide. All right, we'll take care of the hydrogen here. So I'm going to need four water molecules. That's eight hydrogen. So now I've got eight on the other side. All right, so now I would count here and I would say, okay, well, there's eight oxygen. All right, and you'd be tempted to write a four in front of the O2, but don't forget, you've already accounted for two of the oxygens. They came from the methanol, so you only need a coefficient of three in front of the O2. All right, so all right, so we'll just look at this. This uh, these equations may often appear uh, balanced with fractional coefficients, especially if this was ever paired up with an energetics problem. This way, you can quote uh, the enthalpy of the reaction directly as kilojoules per mole uh, of the uh, of the alcohol. All right. If it was balanced with a 2 in front of the methanol, all right, the enthalpy gets, should be correctly quoted just as kilojoules. All right, so I would always recommend that you fully reduce uh, combustion equations balancing such that there's a 1 in front of the fuel source. All right, so that's probably, it could lead to a fractional coefficient in front of the oxygen. All right. Just also as a note, combustion is the complete oxidation of all of the carbon in the alcohol. All right. Other uh, reactions of uh, of alcohols lead to a partial oxidation.